Hey Collective, today we're going to do a quick energy check-in to see if we can get some messages to my returning subscribers. Welcome back and to anybody who's new here. Thank you for joining us today. <clears throat> I just want to thank everybody for your likes, your subscribes, your shares, and all your sweet messages. And I hope everybody's doing well today. And we're just going to go ahead and hop right into the message. <clears throat> so... While I was trying to, right before I turned the video on, there's um, The Lovers came out, and Community, Sudden Wealth, and Unexpected Income just came out during the intro of this video. So there's something that could be happening with either a lover or there's a choice here. And this is going to be in a community of people, so you could be trying to decide something, and this could be amongst a group of people that you're trying to decide something or a group of people is going to see a decision that you've made. And this has to do with your finances or your time or your energy where you're going to be receiving something. And whatever this is, is going to be unexpected. So let's get into the message and see what else comes out. We've got courtship out here in the reverse. So... You could be leaving a partnership or a team or um, there could be a disconnect of something between you and someone else, a disconnect of energy. Let's see what's happening here. This could be something that you're heavily thinking about at this time. Yeah, it looks like you're deciding to move on from something. You could be moving on from something where there's a lot of competition and fighting. It looks like you're investing in something else because it's like whatever it is that's back here that you're moving away from is... You're moving away from somebody who's been very jealous and greed. This could be somebody who's been in and out of your life. It's like whoever this is, this is somebody that's been playing in your energy for a very long time. And you're, this is, it's like you're deciding to move away from this because it's not worth your time. Show me community. The lovers just come out again. So there's something around a group of people or a community of people that are that they're gonna see something to do with a partnership that you are guarded from where there's been a lot of pain. It's like you're no longer gonna be juggled because you know that whatever this is isn't working. Show me something else. And you making this move, whatever this move is for you, it puts you in a place of sudden wealth. And it's like there's, um, you're going to have an unexpected amount of abundance that comes towards you. And this is through your energy being very, very tempered and going with the flow. So it's like you making a decision to move forward is going to bring in peace and calm. And there's something here where the divine is showing up. So it's like there's something that's being given to you. And this could feel like a wish fulfillment. Oh, what is this? Whenever you move away from this person, there's something that comes up here because the Empress in Reverse came out and then the Knight of Cups and the Page of Swords is, what, is what's clarifying this. So somebody could have said some awful things about you. Somebody could have called you a bad mother. Somebody could have... Um, acted as though their abundance did not lie with you. Um, and whoever this is, they end up, when, when you make this move, it's like they try to come back towards you to apologize. And for some of you, you don't speak to this person. So the only way that they can come towards you is to try to spy on you. It's like you're moving away from somebody who they didn't recognize your worth whenever you were with them. 
This is someone that you could have had a family with or been in a partnership with or been in some relationship where at one point the energy between you and them was very content. They could have felt like you, um, you were somebody that made them very happy and they're not, um, uh, they didn't realize this until you decided that you were going to move away. Um, <laughs> I'm getting something here where for some of you, the person that this is talking about, um, I don't know why this is standing up, but I have to say it. So for some of you, the person that this is talking about doesn't have any hair. This could be somebody who is bald by choice. Um, so let me see. Something unexpectedly comes towards you. Let's see what this is. Whatever this unexpected income is, it's something to do with a vulnerability. And it's like whatever this news is. Hang on, let me look at this. You've got somebody who's coming in who's trying to look for a weak spot in whenever you try to move away. This person could be very immature and they're trying to keep a cycle open. Whoever this is is somebody that you're not currently speaking to and they're going to be trying to, they're going to come out and say something to you. Whoever this is is going to come in and very clearly communicate something to you. They could be separating from a karmic um, there's something about a karmic feminine or two karmic feminines that are here. So there's whoever this is, they are also stuck between you and someone else. This is somebody who's stuck in their ego. There's somebody that it's like, there's, there could be up to, to two or three people in this person's energy where they're trying to make a decision because it's like they're not partnered with anybody, but they're also out of alignment with everyone. Whoever it is that's around them, it's like these are people who are not, um, they're not people that they want to be with. They're trying to move away from, but it's like they have a lot of, there's like a lot of mess in this person's energy, whoever this is, and they see you investing somewhere else and moving on, and this is like, making their ego flare. They look at you like you're the queen of cups or like you're somebody that is nurtured, nurturing and maybe you nurtured a connection with them at one point, but this is someone who's emotionally abusive and they want to reunite with you. And then I'm seeing three again here. So whoever this person is, they have a lot of people in their energy. If, if all of these people that are in um, their environment are not romantic partners, they're people who influence them because they're coming out in, um, as energy that's in their ego and that they're trying to decide between. So it's like this person is listening to different people and it's, it's making decisions that they are making to their, their unclear decisions because of whoever these people are. <clears throat> mm. this person is very anxious at this time they're feeling like they should have given you something it's like <laughs> it's weird what it's showing it's like <clears throat> if they had reciprocated in this connection the way that they were supposed to they know that they wouldn't be in Five of Cups energy now. And it's like they're they're looking at that. And it's like for some of you, whoever this person is, they were they behaved in a very opportunistic way with you. Like maybe they took advantage of you and they did not need to. And it actually for whoever I'm speaking to, it wouldn't have even cost them very much. So whatever that means, you can apply it wherever it needs to go. But it's something about this person, if they had just given you respect or if they had just um paid whatever you were due or if they had just done whatever they were supposed to in 
whatever capacity that means when they were in a partnership with you, you would still be in their life and it also would not have cost them very much. Like you would have been an asset to them, but instead they've lost you. They've lost abundance. There's something here about a money loss and um, anxiety and you not speaking to them. And it's like they see that you have made a decision to move on. There's also a community of people that are around this person that see that you've made a decision to move on because this is not working. And it's like this has caused you a lot of pain. And this decision to move forward brings in happiness for you and a wish fulfillment. And then it's like out of nowhere, this person decides that they want to communicate. The person that's going to be communicating with you is someone that you're not speaking to. Your intuition could also be telling you that you may know this person very well or this energy, whoever this is, whatever this has to do with. It's like you know that once you make the decision to move forward, you know it's going to cause them to come towards you. And this person is looking for a vulnerability of yours. They're looking for some sort of a weak spot. For some of you, this could be somebody that um, you, you have a soft spot for. And so it's like they're going to try to play on that whenever they come towards you. But whoever this is, they have at least two... If these are not feminine energies, these are there's at least two people in their energy that are um, jealous, controlling... Um, very greedy and these could be people that they're listening to it to or these are up to two people that they are in some sort of um a third party situation with and they're trying to move away from them and come towards you because this person sees you like you're you're somebody who's very loving and um they miss the connection with you but this is someone who's been emotionally abusive so let's see what else is going on here Why is this coming out? What is this? Because if you're not speaking to them and you're choosing to move forward, what is the significance here of this message? They want to partner with you because they've lost something and it's like they've lost money or energy or time. And so they're trying to come back towards you and they're going to do this in a very aggressive way. This could come out um, almost very forceful. It's like they're going to try to force you to... They're going to try to force an offer. But it's like when they come in and they make whatever this offer is, it's still too small. For some of you, this person could use a child or children to... Because it's like they feel you slipping through their fingers, whoever this is. And they know that because of whatever betrayal has gone on here, however many times they've stabbed you in the back, it's like they know that whatever they offer you is not going to be enough. So for some of you, the only way that they could get back in your energy is to use somebody who is a child. But it's like, even that, it's like whatever actions you're taking right now, it's putting you in a place of your line is drawn. And for a lot of you, it's like it, the, the children will not be affected. It's like they can't use the kids because there's a boundary here where they, even though you might have to share your kids with them, it's like the boundary that's been put here has something to do with it. It's like, well, you maybe only go by a court order or something. Like if there's previously where you would have had back and forth, if there's, um, let me see, whatever communication you previously would have had with them where maybe you would have fought with them or maybe you would have... Um, entertain something where they were using your kids. It's like there's a decision that you've made to only go by whatever that court order says. So, let's see. Or if there's some sort of a contract, it's like that's the only thing that you are following. Because you know that there's no way to have any sort of interaction with this person that's not going to be adversarial. And you're choosing to move forward. Yeah, from somebody who's been very um, just hateful and emotionally abusive. And this person has also been very passive aggressive with you. Um, you had like a false start with this person. This is somebody that you maybe started something with and then it ended. 
and you chose to move away. Whenever this tower came in, you accepted the tower and you chose to move away. For some of you, you could have physically moved. And this is whoever this person is. It's like they're looking at their options to try to manipulate something. And because they're not able to, because of the energy that you are in, they're end up they're gonna end up going through a dark night of the soul. They could go into a period of depression, but there's something about your boundary that's here where that they can't get beyond no matter what form of manipulation that they use. It's causing them to go through having to look within, having to look at themselves. And all the lies that they've told. If this is not somebody looking inside of themselves, this is this person. No, that's what this is. <laughs> this person ends up, they have to, they look at like where they were unfair to you, how how many lies they told or what, what happened that they did. For some of you, this person did something in the legal system that caused you to caused you to lose a lot of money, but also them. And it's like they did this based out of um, trying to control you. It's like they, whatever they were doing was not fair. They didn't do this because they were treated unfair. They did this because they were trying to control you. And it caused a huge loss for them. You need to know that all the money that you have lost in the past to do with whatever this has to do with, that's something that you're going to be getting back. This person could want to apologize to you because the stagnant energy between you and them, they want to fix it. It's like they can't take it. They're starting to have um, very restless energy about the apology that they know that they need to give you because there's other people that they have around them and it's like it's almost like they're looking at them and looking at you and seeing that the way that they treated you was unfair and it has something also to do with the people that they have in their environment there's something about the people that they have around them I don't want to say that but this is that's the that's what I'm getting it's something to do with um, <clears throat> It's like the people that they have around them are needy or jealous or controlling or hateful or manipulative and you're you're just minding your own business. You're doing whatever you're doing and nurturing what you are doing. And it's like if the, if the people that they have around them are not going through anything like this that they are putting you through, it's like they're starting to see why should you have been put through this. If that makes sense. It's like... Let me see. So, let me see if I can get advice for whatever this is when this person comes towards you or what you should do or how you're supposed to handle this. You're being told not to entertain a new beginning with whoever this is because it'll lead immediately to heartbreak and ego and someone trying to stab you in the back. Whoever this person is, it's like they're coming towards you with the intent to harm you and to control you because I've got the three of swords and the five of swords here together and this is um, together it's the eight of swords so it's like somebody's coming back towards you to 
stop you from having a new beginning, but also to try to put you into some space where they can control what's going on in your life. And you're being told not to entertain anything to do with this person, even if they appear to be changed because their intention is to hurt you, to stop you from moving forward. And it's like the spread that just came out, it's like you have done work to put a boundary between you and whoever this is. And it's like if you put your guard down or if they're able to get to that weak spot that you used to have for them, they will do whatever they can to put you back in a space of controlling you. So for some of you, what I'm getting, it's like if someone tries to come back towards you and they appear to be changed, they'll lull you into a false state of safety with them. So they may be nice to you for a long period of time. This is, I'm getting somebody like waiting this out to hurt you. So someone doing something where they're waiting like an entire year to see that you fully trust them. Maybe you get to a place where you're dependent on them again in some way, whether maybe you have a child with them or you have um, a business with them or you share some responsibility with them. And it's like you let them control more than their portion of the share. There's something about dependency, like you coming dependent, becoming dependent on them again. And then them just slithering up like a snake out of nowhere to stab you in the heart. So, um, yeah, this is someone who wants to reunite with you. Um, the emperor has come out, so this could be a boss or a father figure. This could be um, your child's father. This could be <laughs> someone who's... Um, with this other energy out here, this is somebody who's very controlling. And they look to control you by any means necessary. And it's somebody who wants to reunite with you. So... I'm going to go ahead and end the reading there. I hope this message was helpful. Thank you.